Hey everyone, Brickliver18 here today, and in this video, I'm going to be opening up three of the brand new Super Mario Bros. Mystery Character Packs. So as you can see here, each bag, I have three of them joined with me today because that's actually the limit you can buy on LEGO Shop at home. Each character pack has a total of 23 LEGO pieces and includes one character. There are 10 different characters to collect, and as you can see, all 10 are on the very front of you know the, the picture of the packaging here. They are the same size as a collectible LEGO minifigure packaging, and I assume they come in a very similar box. Unlike collectible minifigures, these ones are like impossible to feel, they're more like the Unikitty style. In the sense that you have no idea which figure you're going to get because there are 23 lego pieces inside and feeling them would make it incredibly difficult so as i mentioned and as you saw in my recent haul video i did pick up three of them because that is the limit you can get on lego shop at home i do have the super mario bros expand uh, character pack like the um the actual starter pack of the set haven't built it yet so i'm super excited to do that but before i do i want to take a look at these character packs and of course make an unboxing for you guys so let's stay tuned and we'll see which figures i was able to pick up All right, so I'll slide those out of the way, and I'll start with my very first figure here. Uh, this is the first time I've ever opened one of these up, so I am pretty excited to see which ones I might get inside. I've got my handy-dandy X-Acto knife here, and let's cut it open, and we'll see what's inside. As I mentioned, ordered on LEGO Shop at home, so I probably got three of the exact same ones, but we will have to see. So I'll slide the very first one open here. This is kind of an unboxing, because I have no idea what it's going to look like on the inside. Oh, and... Okay, so I was just going to say, I assume these these are going to be all individually bagged pieces, just like a lot of collectible minifigures are, but as I cut this open, as you can see, it is completely, all the parts are very loose, um, there's absolutely no, no bag whatsoever, which is kind of weird, I thought LEGO would have definitely bagged these up, but I guess that is, um, that's not happening because of the environment and things like that. As you can see, all the pieces there, 23 in total. There's also the instruction manual as well. So I'll just quickly cut into this. I'm not sure how this is going to look, whether it's the different instruction manual for each one or if it's just all the same. Um, we'll have to wait and see. It looks like it's probably the same because of how big it is. All right, so it actually, my, you know, my mouth just uh, spoke too soon, but it is a different instruction manual. This is the instruction manual for this specific build. I thought maybe they would have like a, like a little uh, picture for each build so you could kind of see, but it is a step-by-step -step detailed instruction manual, which is kind of interesting to see. I'm going to quickly build this up now. Um, I'm actually very surprised. I genuinely did think that this would be um, a generic overview instead of a step-by-step -step guide for each one. So that means that for each individual sealed bag, um, they're all just different step-by-step -step instruction manuals. So that's actually pretty interesting to see. Um, so I'm gonna quickly finish building this up. And then of course I'll show you it in a bit more detail. All right, so this is this guy built up. I am the absolute worst when it comes to names um, and all themes. Like I, I apologize, I'm a weird guy, but I have no idea what this guy's called. But it's a very nice little snail. Um, please don't destroy me in the comments to the Super Mario Bros fans. But I think it's really cool, and it does have a code at the very top here that it looks like you'll be able to scan with the app. I have not done any research into the Super Mario Bros, nor have I seen any reviews, so I apologize if that's not a code. Maybe that is just a decoration, but it is a printed piece. It does look pretty cool, and I'm assuming these integrate with the character, uh, with like the starter kit. But of course, I'm going to learn that a little bit more when I actually open up my copy and do the proper research for that video. But that's not what this video is about. Um, but overall, that was a pretty cool one. Let's open up the second one here and see what's inside. And then, of course, did I call it or did I call it? Okay, so I said because these are from Lego Shop at Home, I'm probably now going to get... I'm probably now going to get all the same ones. So sure enough, the second one that I opened is an absolute identical one of the very first one I did. Um, I'm going to put these right back in the thing. I'm not going to open it up. This is probably going to get listed in my Bricklink store or something like that. But um, I hate ordering blind things on LEGO Shop at Home. Like you would have seen my haul recently with the LEGO minifigures where I got all these same figures. Yeah, I don't have a lot of luck. So I'm going to set that guy off to the side, open up my third one. Hope it's a bit better. And when actually, as I was starting to say when I was opening that up, is 
you're probably wondering why I'm reviewing or making videos on Super Mario Bros. when I don't know anything about it. It's because I actually have a lot of fond memories as a kid playing with, you know, Super Mario Bros., Mario Kart, and stuff like that. I'm just not a big, you know, knowledgeable person on the actual characters themselves, so that's why I don't know their names, so I apologize for that. But I promise I will make sure I do my research for when I do my actual video. Um, okay, luckily this one looks like a different one, which is very exciting. Some very cool pieces here to get all these pieces out. Um, very, very nice. There's actually one stuck on the inside as well. I think these are neat um, overall. Again, no idea what this one's called. But I think these are pretty neat because they've got pretty unique pieces, I would say. Um, I haven't seen a lot of them before. So it's neat for the collector sense, you know, Mario special pieces. Might not be great from a, like a Bricklink or a retail sales point, but I'm not trying to sell them. So that's why it doesn't really matter to me. But I think these are cool collectible pieces. So like, for example, this piece is I've never seen in any set before. Of course, we've got the random printed tiles, but we've also got these, like the foot pieces um, that I think are really cool. And I think I can see Lego using those actually for a lot of other sets as well. Um, yeah, but without further ado, I'm just going to quickly build this up. The first thing is first is building up the stand. Um, I think actually this was maybe the last thing. It's broken into two things, but the stand, very easy to build. As you can see, it is done. And now I'll actually build this, this little cute guy here. All right, so here is this guy all built up here. Again, super apologize that I don't know the name, but these are the two Super Mario Bros. characters that I was able to get of the three packs that I purchased from LEGO Shop at Home. I think these are really cool little things. These are cool little guys. I can't wait to display them with my starter course. For only $4.99, like, they're not a bad deal. Um, you don't get any minifigures or anything like that, but of course you do get specialty parts and specialty prints that you wouldn't get in any other set. So I'm glad that they're the same price as a minifigure because I think any more and people wouldn't be buying them. I like how they come on these special stands here. I think that those pieces will be used for lots of other things down the line. And what I found interesting about them is each one has 23 pieces, which I think is pretty cool because if they all had different piece counts, then it'd be so easy to differentiate them but because they are all the same that's not not quite the case but anyway thanks so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed let me know down below what you think of the lego super mario bros so far i'm excited to actually get you know diving into the actual set and playing with the starter course but for right now i just have these and i have to build the starter course very soon but anyway thanks so much for watching this video if you did enjoy please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and we'll see you in the next video